Welcome back to Pataudry this afternoon. Our match commentator, Jock Brown, is joined in the commentary box by Ian St. John. They're down at the trackside now, looking forward to the big game. Just before kick-off now, do you think there's any chance that Rangers may decide to go out here and hold what they have, bearing in mind that should be enough for the championship? Well, no, I think uh, this is a cup tie here today. There's a cup tie atmosphere, and I think it'll be played in that spirit. And I think Rangers will come out to try and win the game, knowing that if they do win it today, then near enough they've, they've sewn it up. And what a place to win it. They won it here before, didn't they? And I think Rangers will want to come out and win it here at Aberdeen against what is a very good Aberdeen side. Now, what do, what do Alex Smith and Jockey Scott say to their men about this particular match? Six points behind, hoping to close the gap. Well, I think they will say that obviously they've got to win it. So, I mean, Aberdeen have got to go out and win it. You saying Rangers don't have to win it. A draw might do them. But I think they will want to win it. So the whole thing is built up around both teams going out and having a go. And that's why I think it'll be a cracking game. The atmosphere, as you know, at the moment is building up. So it's going to be a real hotbed this afternoon. And I think we'll see a game of attacking football. Excitement, hopefully, and goals. And one thing that's happened this morning to help that has been the fact that Aberdeen have watered the pitch quite heavily. Well, I had a look at that there, and I know the players are, are very happy with this. There's a nice covering of grass on it. They've watered it to take the bone out of it because, I mean, this is like midsummer up here in Aberdeen. I can't believe it. Uh, so the, but the pitch is perfect for the game, and it will suit the players that they can play a bit of football, keep it on the ground. Now, what do you think will be the key areas of the match? Well, key areas are always a midfield who... Con who controls midfield controls the ball and uh, so that is a key area Jim Bett I know will be wanted to uh, do well against his old team but I always I always think the Aberdeen fullbacks do well against Rangers I think they get on and, and make the play and I, I think they'll be a couple of key men as well but Rangers will be wanting to try and get the ball up to the two strikers Aberdeen of course knowing how dangerous they are will be trying to shut that service out to them and of course, there are incentives for a number of these players, perhaps the fringe men for the World Cup, like Stuart McKimmy and Hans Hillhouse for the Holland. Sure, I mean, uh, Hillhouse I haven't seen live. I'm looking forward to seeing him. I gather uh, he's a terrific player. We've only like, seen the goals, you know, the goals we get sent down to us. He looks a very good player, so uh, I'm looking forward to seeing him this afternoon. And do you think the effect of winning that Skull Cup final will be a good one for Aberdeen? Well, that's given them a great boost of confidence, you know, to have beat Rangers in the big one, in this kind of hotbed atmosphere at Hamden Park. Why not do it again today? So I think they'll be very confident in Aberdeen. Let's see what happens, Ian. Thanks very much. Looking forward to it. Thanks to Jock and thanks to Ian. Let's remind ourselves now of what these two teams have got to offer. Aberdeen already have the Skull Cup locked away in the trophy cabinet. They're in the Scottish Cup semi-finals. That's next week. Injuries have hampered their league campaign and really only the die-hard Dons fans would give Aberdeen a chance of catching Rangers in the championship race. Let's see Aberdeen in action.
happy Willie Miller, although not so happy Willie Miller today, of course, with uh, the Dons defender still out of first-team action. Gordon, where do Aberdeen come in your rankings of the top Scottish teams at the moment? Well, obviously, they're right up as their league position proves, and their cup success so far this season proves they're, they're, rank, they're right up there with Rangers, obviously. I mean, I think, as I said earlier, I think they've got too much to do in the league championship race um, with a six-point gap. But it looks as if, you know, they've won one cup and have a chance of winning another, so obviously they're smashing side. They've saved a lot of their best stuff for the cup. We saw it in that action sequence there. A lot of their best goals have come. Twelve goals have scored in their three cup ties. Yeah, they've banged in a few. seen Big Van Der Aert, who unfortunately for Aberdeen isn't playing today. I mean, we've got um, Neely Simpson in, in his place, and it's, it's nice to see Neely Simpson back because obviously it's a terrible um, injury problems lately. But I think Terry Butcher and Richard Goff will be quite pleased that um, Van Der Aert's not playing because he's a big awkward customer. I mean, he's got his critics, some say his touch isn't that good, his control, but he bangs the goals in it and it can be awkward. It underlines Aberdeen's strength and depth, doesn't it, that Van der Ark's out and in comes Neil Simpson, a Scottish international. They've also got Ian Cameron on the bench this afternoon who can come on and do a good job. We all remember that great Skull Cup semi-final goal we got against Celtic. Well, that's one of the most important things in football today. You've got to have strength and depth and also taking into consideration that Schnellders is out and Willie Miller's out and to, to be winning championships or cups nowadays, you've got to have the strength and depth and if you haven't got that, at some time in the season you're going to get suspensions, you're going to get injuries and if you haven't players like Neil Simpson to come into your squads, you don't win things. What about Brian Irvin? What sort of job do you think he's done? Is he developing as a deputy for Miller? Well, I mean, the highest compliment I could play Brian Irvin is I don't think they've missed Willie Miller that much since um, Brian Irvin's come in. Obviously, he's, he's a player that um, a lot of clubs would want if he became available on the transfer market, and Alex Smith, I'm sure, knows he's a very, very important player for Aberdeen, and um, he'd, command a, he'd command a place in most Premier League sides. Willie Miller will be up to get you after hearing that he's dispensable, <laughs> but uh, go on for the moment, thanks very much. Now on to Rangers, well they lost out to Aberdeen of course in that Skull Cup final, it was Celtic who did them in, in the Scottish Cup. In the league campaign there's been really little to touch them after a shaky start too. They've shown signs of slipping in recent weeks, but their main rivals have dropped points as well. Let's see Rangers in action.